Now that you've got your Grow Daddy fully assembled, which took you all of 10 minutes, we're going to show you how to start assembling the components. First off is the air filter odor control fan. The reason why we're starting with that is it's the furthest back uh, porthole in your grow box. Take your supplied 4-inch powder-coated flange and insert it into the 4-inch hole. Simple as can be. Now we're ready to install the fan. One of the most important things in developing our home grow boxes was the odor control and the exit fan or the exhaust fan. We decided to go with the professional series 170 CFM exhaust can fan. And what that is, it's a full line of duct fans, but we chose the four inch duct fan. It is the highest quality one can buy. Everything is nylon lubricated inside with a, we've got this sleeve, it's, a, it's an insulating sleeve, which helps to keep your noise levels down. Now the beauty of this is, is it's a professional series fan. No longer do you have to deal with computer fans or small exhaust fans and smelling whatever it is you don't want to smell. This will make sure that any odor is contained and nobody will know that you have anything going on. Okay, so you take the 4-inch duct fan, which we've already gone over, and it slides right into our 4-inch flange. This is the opening at the very top of your grow box, this one being the grow daddy. There it is. It's incomplete. It has its own cord, just plugs right into uh, the, the GrowPod Master Controller. And we'll show you that in just a little bit. So next we've got your odor control filter. Obviously we're going to use an activated charcoal filter. This is an organic air 4-inch filter. It's a standard filter. We also have a professional series can fan, with a can filter, which is an upgrade. We can show you that a little later. But once again, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install this. We've got the flange installed, which took no tools, no screws. We've got the 4-inch uh, duct fan with 100 CFM exhaust power. That's already installed with no tools. The only tool you need is you've got to tighten this little uh, this pipe clamp right here. And here I go. Odor control installed. Next we've got the 6-inch flange. This is the exhaust flange for your intercooled cool tube. Once again, we manufacture our own cool tube with a six inch inline Japanese fan so that your cool tube stays just as cool or as warm as the room it's in and your grow box does not get hot. Flange installed. At Hydroponics Group we've spent a lot of time in research and development and what we found out was one of the most common problems of any grow box was the buildup of excessive heat. So we created our own custom designed intercooled cool tube with a fan built right in. There's no attaching a fan, no worrying how to attach a fan. It's already there for you. In addition to that, the fan has an eight-foot cord to reach the master controller or wherever you want to plug it in. What we've already done is we've taken the liberty and we've put the 400-watt metal halide bulb in already, and it comes equipped with our hanging straps. Your cool tube comes with yo-yo uh, uh, light hangers as well, but for the sake of install, we're just going to show you how it goes on in. Okay. Okay, so we've, we've got the first one hooked around the supplied hook. The hooks are already installed for you. Then the next hanging strap is in. Your cool tube is installed. What we've done with this one being Grow Daddy is we're aware of two things. One is you need electronic access holes. And what we did is we made the electronic cord access holes two and three quarters inches around. The reason why we did that is one is it helps to keep the light from escaping. And two, you'll notice that the the walls of this unit are an inch thick. What's that, what that does, it, it does an incredibly good job of keeping light from going out. A thin metal box has no diffusion power. It just goes straight out. That is the light. So what you do is you take your cords. Remember, they're eight foot long each. And you just run them through that, that, that uh, access hole. Cool tube cords and power cords are already installed, ready to be plugged into your master controller. Nothing to worry about. Now we're installing the ducting for the cool tube. This is a real simple process. We have the six inch flange up top already in the roof, one simple pipe clamp or a hose clamp, and we have a professional series flexible hydro hose. Again, just one simple screwdriver. There you go. So the first part, your intake, is installed for your cool tube. Next, we'll attach it to the cool tube with another hose clamp. Now that you've got your hose clamp attached to your intake tubing, 
All you have to do is slide it onto the end of your cool tube. Then just tighten that hose clamp. So what you've got here is you've got your intake flange, your intake hydro tubing, and your cool tube. Don't forget the fan is here, so that's going to pull the cool air up across your bulb. Now we're going to install the exhaust tubing. I've already attached the intake portion on the 6 inch intake flange, which is actually the exhaust. But the flange protrudes down through the roof, so we've attached that portion of the hydroponics flex tubing. And now this one is attaching to the exhaust side of the intercooled cool tube. Once again, just a couple screws. You'll feel it get tight on your fingers, and you're good to go. And what this does is it creates its own environment for the cool tube. So that hot bulb will be automatically cooled whenever it's on. Your cool tube is installed. Next, we're going to show you how to put the uh, reflector on. Here you got an aluminum reflector, which is basically adjustable and removable for ease of use and packaging. All you have to do is fasten the two supplied screws on each side, and you've got two six inches extensions on your reflector. The cool tube is already six to six and a half inches around. You have an additional 12, ounces, 12 inches here, so you have 18 inches of reflective space. Let me show you how to put it on. It's pretty hard. Reflector installed. Now this is the shelf that your hydro tub rests on. It'll be coming a little bit more clear here in a second, but what we want to show you first is the underneath portion or the bottom grow zone. It is, is specifically designed to grow clones and seedlings of any variety or strain. It's very simple to install, but first I want to tell you about a, a little bit about it. These are T5, three foot T5s. They're 125 watts each and you get two of them. The mounting brackets will be pre-installed for you and all you have to do is snap this into place. Your T5 mounting bracket and assembly is already installed. Next it's the bulb. Okay, so now you just install your bulb. Once your bulb's in place, you give it a twist so that it locks into place. That will actuate the connector so when you plug it in, it will turn on. Again, you have two of these. There'll be a jumper cable between them. Very simple to install and all the brackets will be there for you. One of the advantages to our hydro station grow boxes is the shelf is removable. You can grow four foot tall plants or six foot tall plants. It's up to you. With the four foot tall shelf in there, you have the grow zone underneath for your clones and your seedlings. Okay, so what I've done is I put the left hand side of the shelf in first. And I just lay it down on its already existing struts. This shelf will handle up to 200 pounds. This particular grow box has an 18 side hydro tub and we'll show you that in just a minute. What we've done, coming back here we've installed the 18 side hydro tub. The tub is empty so it's easy. You tilt one side to the left and you just fit it in nicely. What we've gone ahead and done is we've installed all of the drip emitters. They stick right onto these uh, little nipple attachments. In addition to that, the uh, grow medium is in. At this point, all you have to do is install the water pump which goes inside. There's a clearly defined area where it connects to the intake of the water. The water pump that goes inside is timed. So twice every grow cycle, whether it's veg or bloom, your plants will be watered with nutrients. Don't forget that you have a, a reservoir full of nutrient-rich water, which the roots will be sitting in as well. In addition to that, we have an air circulator, which uh, provides oxygenated water. Hydroponic plants love oxygen and nutrients. You're going to learn that one to be very true. So what you've got here is your 18-site hydro tub already installed. You've got your grow medium and your drip emitters. Nothing could be easier. Now what we've done is we've installed the two clone trays underneath the shelf. Now remember, we have the two T5 125 watt bulbs there, which will give these all the light nourishment they need. Clones typically take between 10 to 15 days to get to the point where you can transfer them into your 18-side 18, 18 hydro tub. We also have a 9-side hydro tub in our Bud Buddy. So as you can see, you've got two clone trays here. You have more than enough room for four or five. That's why we say there's enough room for 101 plus clones. No grow box can say anything like that. Here's the brains of our operation. The reason why we made the brains of our operation in a portable unit, one is, is Grow Pod, uh, grow, grow Daddy, and the Bud Buddy from Hydroponics Group are expandable systems. 
With one grow pod, or master controller as we now call it, you can have up to three grow boxes. What it comes complete with is your veg and bloom time schedules. Just the flip of a switch, you go from 18 to 6 sun and light, excuse me, sun and darkness, or to 12 and 12, which is, of course, your bloom schedule. You have your full uh, service computerized digital timer. Basically, if you can set an alarm clock, you can set your grow box. You have your water override and your CO2 switch. Once again, Master Controller meters your CO2. Every five minutes, a dose of 1,200 parts per million on CO2 will go into your grow box. Of course, you need your own tank and regulator, but that's easy to find. Underneath, you'll see the guts of grow pod is there's your 400 watt ballast. There's no reason that you can't add a second one for a second grow box. That, that ballast is inside a cooled interior. We have an exhaust fan, plus it's internally digitally cooled, so you'll never have any excessive heat. This is all designed by one plug design to plug into one wall in almost any room. As you can see, Master Controller comes in wheels. It's about two feet wide by a foot and a half deep. It is internally cooled. In fact, the fan is exhausting right here. This can be kept in another room in a closet. Depends on how long you want your cords to be. But the idea is that your brains and your power unit is separate from the box itself. So the box looks cleaner, more stealth, and can be hidden in plain sight. After uh, many years of research and development at Hydroponics Group, once again, we're a group of growers that got together years ago to share stories and ideas. We've come up with what we find to be almost perfect, the home growing system. One of the things about other grow boxes is they look completely out of place inside a home. They need to be in a garage or a basement. We find with our series of Grow Daddy and Bud Buddy grow systems, one is they fit anywhere. Obviously, it looks like a fine piece of furniture made out of Norwegian cedar. But one of the things we really want you to notice is there's no light coming out of your grow box.